So exactly when were you going to tell me that my surgeon was playing liver transplant Olympics? We are still establishing the facts of the case. Look, I know how these things work, and I know if you had half the chance, you'd cover this whole thing up. They only found out about it yesterday, so just give them a chance. I saw him two days ago, and he couldn't have been nicer to me. He couldn't have done enough for me. And this and now we know why, don't we? Because he was covering his own back. Because I was his liver transplant personal best. So while I'm fighting for my life, he's having a flutter at the races. I'm afraid there's something else. Right. What? We discovered that Mr. Thorne took a selfie, which he subsequently shared with a colleague. What? What kind of selfie? It was in uh, theatre after the operation. The um, image is a bit blurry, but... Uh, oh. Is that my liver he's holding up? And the caption, anyone for foie gras. I want him struck off. I want him sacked, finished! I can assure you all the events around your surgery will be fully investigated. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. He told me my test results were fine. How can I trust him after that? I want a second opinion. I want a full check. Yeah, what if I end up ill again? What if I end up dead? I've just been thinking, um, if he, if he has bodged this operation, I might need another transplant and they might not have another liver this time. Peter, surely, if there was anything wrong, you'd feel it. How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel like I want to punch his lights out. That's how I feel. Yes, I know, but... You know what? If you do need anything doing, you're going to be top of the list after everything he's done. I don't know if I could face going through all that again. Yes, but you, you won't need to. Mr Barlow. Yeah. I've had another consultant go over all your records and she can confirm that uh, all your test results are fine. Right. Your Thanks. recovery has gone well and your operation was textbook competent. Well, yeah, you say that apart from the selfie and the bet. Um, we are taking this very seriously. The conduct of your surgeon is under investigation. But I hope it's at least of some consolation that you seem to have suffered no adverse health issues. Hang <laughs> on, you've not been sitting with him the last half hour. I mean, he's had some bits. This is mental torture. I'm sorry. I promise you that we will keep you informed about the investigation every step of the way. You know what the thing is? You trust these people, don't you? You mm -hmm. put your life in their hands and, what? Well, they just think it's all just one big joke. You know what? I bought that guy. I bought him a bottle of single malt and I can tell you what I'd really like to do with that now. Can, can, I, uh, can I give evidence at this inquiry? If you want to. Yes, I, I do want to. Uh, can I suggest you go home now and take a bit of time to think about it? You can give us a statement or we can interview you, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I need a bit of time. I've got to get my head around all this. Thanks. You need to throw the book at this guy. <laughs> 